the experience for me. I've never done anything like that before. So, um, I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Don't know what I'm going to do, but whatever I can, I'm willing. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. Stefan Richmond. Experience for me. I've never done anything like that before. How are you? Can you hear me? I'm kind of excited. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. Okay. How are you? I'm Stefan Richmond. Uh, been a resident of Bloomfield for 11 years, um, wife and three children. My wife and her family have been lifelong residents of uh, Bloomfield. I currently own a painting with a twist, which is a paint bar in downtown Hartford. Um, my background is in mechanical engineering and intellectual property law. I consider myself retired, if you will, from aerospace engineering, did uh, 20 years at United Technologies. Um, and currently I do my own thing at home trading as well as uh, being an art consultant for professional artists um, in different places around the country. Um, and that's about it. Thank you, I Stefan. Also, I'm sorry. Also, I met a few of you, but I also helped lead the current, the, the three murals that currently went up around Bloomfield, the one in front of our city hall, the one at the uh, running bridge, that their lives mattered, and then the new one that we just put up outside of the um, the new rec center. Thank you. They look amazing. Thank you. Amanda. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Amanda Roy. I have been a resident of Bloomfield for um, just over 10 years. I am the Director of Community Impact at the Greater Hartford Arts Council, where I've been for six years. I oversee all of the community programs and um, granting programs for the council, as well as our advocacy efforts. Um, I have been in the arts and culture community, um, working in it for over a decade. I started at the Harriet Beecher Stowe Center. I worked at Connecticut Humanities um, as a grant and program officer there as well. Um, I, am, I started college as a studio artist, but then switched my major to history. So um, I, I have degrees in history um, and I am a drummer. Um, so I, I went over to the music side. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's me. Thank you, Amanda. Um, next, can we hear from our counselors and town manager, um, starting with Madam Mayor? Um, thank you so very much. Um, I am going to defer <laughs> first to the town manager, and then um, I'll let Counselor Curtin go, and then I'll go last. Stanley? Okay. Well, if Elizabeth had called on me first, I was going to defer to the mayor and the counselor. But uh, good afternoon, everyone. And I am Stanley Hawthorne, uh, your very proud new town manager. Uh, I know that this is a new committee that has come into, come into being and one uh, that I'm very excited about. And I know that we've got the right staff person that will be supporting you. Uh, so I really just wanted to express my support uh, and introduce myself and welcome you to this new, uh, very exciting board to enhance the community of Bloomfield. Thank you, Stanley. Councilor Curtin. Yeah, thank, thank you, Elizabeth. Um, I'm going to save the introduction. I think most of you on this screen probably have been bombarded in the last, I would say, month or so with everything about us running for office. So I'll skip over that. I think you know more than I know about myself at this point. But I wanna start off by saying thank you all for stepping up to the plate and being part of, I believe, one of the most important committees within the town, especially with everything that's going on within Bloomfield in regards of development. I think art plays a very important role in that. I think we have a very rich culture within the town of Bloomfield. I always say it's like the small uh, New York melting pot. We have a lot of culture here, but we need to express that in our artistic form within the community. Before I even get there, I just wanna start by um, giving Stefan, uh, Mr. Richmond, a big, uh, a big rave um, because I think he ignited uh, something within the town, I would say, uh, uh, in the last year or so with the Black Lives Matter and starting with the mural at Town Hall. That started it and basically it kind of grew out of that. Uh, the one on the bike path was amazing as well. 
and so on with uh, the one at the, the rec center. So I just wanted to just acknowledge him for his work, uh, not only being part of this community with his family within the school system, but being a very important uh, figure in, in getting those, uh, um, those, those fixtures within the town. Uh, so I just wanna thank him for that. So standing O, Mr. Richmond for the job well done. And I think you'll be uh, a great um, uh, addition to this committee. Uh, but what I would say is, um, you know, thank you all. And, uh, you know, the council is here to support you in everything you do. Hopefully we can find ways how to um, have outside uh, forces get involved. A lot of the various organizations within the town of Bloomfield, I believe should play a part in, in the art and how we express that. And I just wanted just to add, it's just not, um, it's also performance art per se, if we went through the, the actual policy. And I think that's important and we need to find a way how to bridge all of that together. And I believe with all the new projects, with the new library uh, projects, that's a great way for us to express some of the arts within the town of Bloomfield and then to start a trend. So once again, thank you all for everything that you're about to embark on. And thank you for the folks who already have done their part I know Mr. Ferger have served on the, um, the EDC and he's been, he's been very instrumental in trying to get it somewhere. So we've come full circle and uh, we're here to support you and uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you so very much. Um, I wanna thank the committee um, for agreeing. Um, thank you, Elizabeth. I'm not quite sure you know what you've gotten into, but, but thank you for agreeing um, to be the staff liaison. Um, as Councillor Curtin have said, we're just so very excited about this particular commission because I believe that it's going to open us up to a lot of new, interesting visual um, expressions of our town and the residents of our town. Um, I am excited that we have such qualified people. I believe that um, Councillor Curtin probably nominated uh, Stefan, <laughs> um, but I do want to echo thank you to Stefan for stepping up when we just had a thought. Um, I'm not sure if anyone remember how the Black Lives Matter mural came to be. It was, you know, a thought. It was an idea. The council voted on it, and we never really had a plan. Um, Stefan took the reins um, along with the CT murals, and we have three amazing um, murals here in the town of Bloomfield. And I believe that the mural at the town hall, out of all the murals that I've seen, is absolutely the best one. I can be a little bit biased, but I believe it's the best one here. Um, so I thank you for that, Stefan. I am uh, grateful for the wealth of knowledge that's going to be on this commission. I'm grateful for the experience that's going to be on the commission. I'm asking um, that the commission be very intentional about the work that we do, about the representation that we put out and about the messaging um, sure. that will go on in the arts here in the town of Bloomfield. It's something new, um, but I believe it's something that's going to be electrifying and vibrant and it's just going to bring another layer to the nicest best town in the state of Connecticut. So I do thank you for that. Um, and thank you for the work that you have put in and the work that you will put in. Um, it's interesting because I'm sitting here thinking that this commission runs on the cycle of the council and that there is elections in November. So I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Um, but uh, as far as the commission goes, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to just roll over, you know, roll, roll things over. So thank you. Um, uh, thank you, Elizabeth. And thank you to the members of this uh, commission. I realized I too didn't fully introduce myself and my credentials. Um, so my name is Elizabeth Lane. I'm the director of Bloomfield Public Library. 
Um, prior to moving to Connecticut in 2016, I was an art librarian at the Frick Art Reference Library of the Frick Collection in New York City. Um, it's an esteemed art institution uh, known worldwide. I also have a degree in art history from Rutgers University, and I spent time studying art history in South Africa and Paris and at the Louvre. Um, seems like a world ago now that I'm in Bloomfield, but I do bring a lot of experience in the arts with me um, and to my work in Bloomfield. I also think that uh, visual literacy is a very important part of the literacies um, needed for 21st century living um, and is an important part of what we do at Bloomfield Public Library as well. Um, so I have a lot of interest in the success of this commission and bringing more arts to Bloomfield and our public. Um, so thank you. And thank you, Bob, for reminding me that everyone needs to introduce themselves. Um, it's wonderful um, learning more about all of you. Rickford? Thank you for that, Elizabeth. I just wanted to add, what talent do we have on this team here? It's it's amazing. Uh, wow, there's a lot to expect from you guys. No pressure, but I'm just saying your talent <laughs> precedes you. Just put it out there. <laughs> I was I was thinking the same thing, right? But I'm glad that we're recording it so that when the pressure comes, we can play back the recording. <laughs> <laughs> we are now on YouTube, everyone. I figured it out. Thanks to... Oh, um, oh. Uh, my colleague, Chris, who is out for his birthday today, but he uh, was able to text me and walk me through that process. So um, thank you all. Um, and I agree, there's so much talent in Bloomfield. Um, we have a lot to offer our community. Um, so on that note, who wants to be chair? And secretary, we need to talk about both. Does anybody want to nominate themselves or nominate someone else? Could we, can we nominate two? Just a question. I'm not sure about the rules and procedures of that actually. I want to, am I allowed to say yes? I defer to Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> you are the current chair, so. Okay. It's your discretion. Yes, so anybody on, um, on this meeting can um, nominate somebody to be chair or secretary. I'd like to nominate Mr. Stanwick. Well, um, thanks for the nomination, but um, not in part because uh, I have a busy um, schedule. Art schedule. I'm out of town most of the time, and you know, I, don't, I wouldn't be able to fulfill my duties as, as um, required. So I'll pass it on to someone who is more um, able and reliable. So would you like to make a nomination, sir? I'd like to nominate Mr. Stanley uh, Hartwarn. Oh, he's the town manager. He can't do it. Oh, he's a, you know, okay, uh, well, or uh, Mr. Mandaroy. Can I, uh, can I nominate Mr. Stefan Richmond? Oh, that would be, that would be, you know, okay. Let me see Mr. Stefan. I haven't seen a picture of Mr. <laughs> Stefan. Okay. But um, since he's um active in the community, I think, um, you know. I was going to second that, uh, Madam Mayor, Stefan as chair. Yeah. Who who second who seconded it? Oh, that's me, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Stefan, are you are you game? I'll accept the nomination. Any discussion? Well, I would support that. I think that's an excellent choice when we get to vote vote. I agree. Uh, I think he brings a wealth of ideas, and we need um, ideas. Ideas uh, usually uh, ignite action. So uh, I'm 100% supportive, Mr. Stefan. Councilor Curtin? I would just like to add, I think that's an excellent uh, pick. I would just like to add because I saw the agenda, and I think they should be a vice chair. Um, because once again, the purpose of that is if the chair is not around, someone can step in. 
So I think that once we get past this, if that could be added to the agenda, I think would be wise. I think that was probably overlooked if, if anything. Thank you. Uh, could I nominate Ms. Amanda Roy for, for vice chair since she, since she brings a lot of um, <laughs> experience uh, in terms of grant writing? I'll and, that. You know, I, I, I think uh, that would be very good. Just, just from a procedural standpoint, I think we have to vote. The voting members have to vote first to to nominate the chair and then oh, okay. to to go to nominate a vice chair and then a sex and so on. Thank you, Councilor Council Curtin. You're keeping us on. You're definitely keeping us on track. I need the help, so thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so sh can we move to vote then? We're voting on the chair. First. We are voting on electing yeah. Stefan to chair of the Public Art Commission. So people who vote yay, raise your hand. Yay. Hey, Robert Ike, yes. Yay. <laughs> Does Stefan no. vote too? Stefan? Yes, my hand's up. <laughs> okay. All right. So unanimous. Okay. Now we can move on to the added agenda item of the appointment of vice chair. I move that we add the agenda item of appointment of vice chair for the Public Arts Commission. Second that. Elizabeth, you have to take that vote as well. Was Is there any discussion for the vice chair about? You, Elizabeth, oh. you you have to take the vote. Oh, add. okay. Thank you, Mayor. Um, does everybody, can we vote on adding the agenda item for the vice chair? As um, if you vote yay, say yay, please. Yeah. Yay. Yay. yeah. Any yeah. nays? Any abstentions? Okay, unanimous. So we can now discuss appointing a vice chair. Someone have to make that motion. So the I make a motion that we nominate Amanda Roy as the vice chair of the Public Art Commission. I'll second that. Bob and Bob, thank you. Any discussion? Can we vote? If you vote yay, please say yay. Yes. Yay. Any nays? Any abstentions? Okay, Amanda, congratulations. Thank you, everyone. And now for the appointment of secretary. I nominate Mr. Robert Figure. I'm afraid I would have to decline that. Thank you very much. I'm honored, but uh, it's I, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> I'm on a lot of committees, but but don't serve uh, in those roles. So thank you. So um, Leslie or. <laughs> Um, I would, I would say yes, but I, I don't know if I can really do that either. I've got so much going on right now. Leslie, I can assist you in that function. Yeah. Yes. All right. I'll do it. <laughs> Question now, Elizabeth, are you a part of the committee? Elizabeth, I, she's our, are you a, an I think so, oh, but okay. I'm not a voting member. Correct. So I'm a, oh, go ahead, Madam Mayor. No, 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 you're correct. Yeah, just, for, just from a procedural standpoint, uh, Stefan, Elizabeth is the staff appointed uh, okay. person for this right. committee. So definitely she'll be able to assist in many different areas. Uh, okay. And I think that was a perfect example with the, the minutes, but she okay. cannot vote. Yeah. All right, because right. I was going to say, since we're a small committee, if Leslie didn't, 
want to be secretary, um, it's usually up to the chair to be secretary. So I can secretary if she, if she wanted to not take on the role. I'll, 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 I'll say, he just has a lot of help. It's, it's a good thing. Yeah. Oh. From a procedural point of view, am I supposed to hand the meeting over to Stefan now? Correct. Okay, so Stefan, you will now be running the meeting. So you're running um, from the uh, appointing of the secretary on. Well, I definitely wouldn't have taken on this responsibility if I knew this was going to happen. All right, so um, I guess we're on agenda item number four. Uh, we have to set future meetings. So, so what is the recommended cadence. Uh, uh, excuse me for interrupting. Yes. Since we've been very good about procedure, I, I think we had discussion on secretary, but we actually didn't take the vote for the record. That's correct, so, Bob. Yeah. So procedurally, let's just have that vote and then we can uh, hand that off to our, our chair. And so, uh, either Elizabeth or the chair can call for that vote. Yeah, the chair can call for the vote, Bob. Um, you're correct. Thank you, Rick. All right, all in favor of Leslie being our new secretary? Um, Aye. Uh, Stephon, just Aye. a point of, um, just before I think Leslie was nominated by who? I don't think we, who nominated Leslie? That was Robert, uh, uh, Robert I can nominate Leslie as our, our secretary. And who second the, the nomination? No, I believe I did. Okay, okay. So. All right, all in favor of Leslie being our new secretary? Aye. All opposed? All right, welcome Leslie as the new secretary. Thank you. Next on the agenda item is our future meetings. Um, so we have a two-year assignment. So what do, what do, excuse me, what do you all recommend as a regular cadence for uh, this particular meeting? If I, I may, uh, I would uh, throw out for discussion, of course, uh, at least once a month, we should have okay. a, a regular meeting once a month. I think that makes sense, Bob. Yes, unless, uh, you know, and as many, probably this commission more than many others, uh, if something in particular comes up, we can, call for a special meeting uh, on a, uh, a project uh, proposal. However, uh, serving on another commission, I know uh, the rules of the town are that uh, every meeting, except for our informal discussions, uh, must be uh, noticed and uh, open to the public. So that limits a little bit our saying, hey, let's all get together and talk about something. But um, let's at least start uh, with a monthly meeting uh, on a regular uh, a, a date in the calendar, such as, you know, the third Tuesday or whatever. Oh. Um, and I throw that open for discussion. All right. So what is more favorable for everyone if, we, if we're meeting once a month? Also, before we start that, is there a uh, is there rules and regulations policy for town committees um, for publicizing or offering to the public these meetings? Stefan, yes, there are, and I'll be able to handle that. We would need to notice the meetings and make sure that that was all done 48 hours in advance. Okay. I can also help with putting together the agendas and submitting them to the town clerk. Also, um, I'm aware that we now have a public arts policy with the town. Can someone send that around? So that way we'll have it for future meetings. Um, yes, I will be able to that do agenda? that, Stefan. All right. So once a month, now, what? how does everybody feel? Um, any particular day, morning, noon, evening, that suits, suits uh -huh. everyone? We're yeah. going to have a physical meeting or Zoom meeting or Wednesday once a month. Is this going to be in person? I think for now, we'll keep it to Zoom until everyone's comfortable oh, okay. in person. For me, um, I have Wednesdays uh, half a day. So um, I would say Wednesdays work fine for me. 
or in the evenings, anytime after four, any evening. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, how about uh, we're meeting today on the 29th? How about the fourth or fifth Wednesday in the afternoon? Right, uh, if so. I may, I uh, this works out perfectly for me, but I do have another uh, committee I sit on that meets regularly uh, the last uh, Wednesday of the month, but it doesn't meet till 530. So if we're able to hold uh, a time, uh, this is just personal for me, but hold a time of three or four o'clock as we're doing today, that would work fine. Uh, I would not be able to do it later on the last uh, Wednesday of the month. Right, yeah, so I want to second that. That, that works for me. Um, yeah. That works very good for me. Thank you. It's my own preference. So I heard Wednesday after 3 p.m. before 5 p.m. Uh, well, let's say 3 or 4 p.m. to make it easier. Fourth or fifth Wednesday of the month. That sounds fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about the last Wednesday of the month, Mr. Chairman, of each month, the last Wednesday of each month? The last Wednesday of each month, all right. So do we need to put it to vote? Yes, you do. All right, uh, give me a second, I'm taking notes. All right, all in favor of having the committee meet once a month on the last Wednesday of each month at, I'll split the difference, 3.30 p.m. Oh, go ahead, Rob, I didn't see your hand. No, no, oh, I, I was I was raising my hand to vote. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'll split the difference at 3.30 p.m. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, we are now meeting once a month on the last Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. Happens to be the only day of the week I'm free, so that was a good, <laughs> good choice. All right, so now uh, we have future meetings settled. Next on the um, agenda is public comments. So does anyone here outside of the current committee have any comments or statements? If I, if I may, Ms. Mr. Chair and, and Elizabeth and, and fellow commissioners, uh, I'd like to throw open for discussion, not today, uh, to, to resolve these items, but obviously we all have uh, long lists of things we'd like to see the commission uh, address, uh, think about. Um, I prepared a, a long list for myself which I did send around, I'd be happy to send it to everyone again. And I would ask and encourage everyone uh, to um, come up with lists uh, to share with all of us uh, things that we should be talking about, uh, what our policies are, what we should be encouraging, uh, down to I even have included, we should uh, have an inventory of arts organizations and artists in town things that we all have been uh, thinking about or involved with uh, in various ways. So I would just, uh, uh, to the uh, commission, uh, invite everyone to, to do that uh, and circulate that before our next meeting so we'll have uh, some substantive discussion. All right, you wanna send that email again, Robert? Uh, I'd be more than happy to, yes. Thank you. One of the things that I like to, uh, um, being a senior myself, I mean, me being a senior, we have a vibrant uh, senior art, com art uh, community in the, in the town of Bloomfield. And um, I would like that we do not, I would like for not us to, um, for us not to uh, ignore them in terms of overlook them. You know, there's a lot of seniors that are doing wonderful art that, that are part of uh, the town of Bloomfield. And I hope we could continue putting forward uh, art programs that would um, uh, 
keep them going, you know, uh, give them a purpose or a reason to come out. Uh, I agree with that. And uh, certainly uh, across the whole community, but uh, I would remind us all and call, call to attention, we have two retirement communities in town uh, with many residents at Seabury and Duncaster, and yeah. they do have arts programs there and arts uh, practitioners. So okay. we should remember to include them. Sometimes in some of our uh, discussions, we forget that, that they're sort of sub communities within our town. Yeah. So I, I, I agree with you. I think that's a, a wonderful thing we should uh, encourage across the whole town. Stefan, I would like to point out that Councillor Curtin and member of the public, Ava Biffer, both have their hands raised to speak. All right. Councillor Kirkland. Kirkland. Thank, thank, thank you, Stefan. I, I just wanted to comment on because I know a lot of this, uh, a lot of this work went into uh, with the council and planning and coming up with a policy. So what I would recommend to this uh, commission is to first, you know, to review that policy to understand exactly the vision and and the thought that went into uh, the policy from the council perspective. Because I think it's important. I think we need to work in tandem to to get some of those uh, visions and thoughts that were placed on that document to start reflecting in the community. So I think that's important because obviously you all are very talented and you have different ideas and stuff that you're gonna to bring to the table, but I think it's important to make sure that document is the guiding um, light for what we end up doing within the town of Bloomfield. I Thank agree. you. Yeah, I agree. That was one of my, that's funny. The note I took right before you started speaking was policy breakdown and review. All right, who else had their hand raised? Ava Biffer. Ava, what do you got for us? Hi, um, I think I'm supposed to say Ava Biffer, 17 Terry Plains Road. Mm -hmm. um, I am also the chair of the Library Board of Trustees and um, just wanted to mention how delighted I am that there's such a talented and diverse group of artists representing all the varied art communities, um, both in town and in the surrounding area. And I think there's an endless potential of partnerships between um, Bloomfield Public Library and the varied art community and all of the subgroups of that community um, in terms of art in the library design, art that's displayed in the library, performances, just kind of an, an array that will be wonderful for all of this, the um, residents of Bloomfield and others who come to the library um, because they like our library better than theirs. So I'm, I'm thrilled that you're embarking on this and um, thank you so much for all of your efforts on behalf of us as residents of the town and for the library as well. Uh, Ava, if I, if I, oops, <laughs> we just, this is Bob Ferger. Uh, thank you for those comments. And I, I would just like to say on the record uh, that as a member of the Economic uh, Development Commission, who uh, personally is charged with advocating for the arts, one of the very earliest uh, meetings we had was with Elizabeth Lane, uh, and I'd like to give her a, a tip of the hat uh, for her uh, encouragement and also uh, all of the work that she's done in the library. Uh, we were very impressed with your website and uh, the advocacy for the arts, and uh, uh, one of the very earliest uh, concepts we've had and still are carrying is to get art uh, involved, not just on an exhibition level, but on a permanent level uh, in the uh, renovations and the development of all of our library branches. So uh, again, thank you, Elizabeth, uh, for uh, that. And the library has been uh, a key element in our uh, encouraging the arts in the town. Thank you, Bob. 
I should note that we are about to embark on the big read that is partially funded by the National Endowment of the Arts. Um, and part of that is a graphic memoir workshop. Um, and we're about to go full press in terms of advertising uh, a series of amazing programs for our community. And part of that is also um, having an exhibition from the prison arts program um, at both physical locations and will be featured prominently on BPL online. Um, that show is currently on view at the Mark Twain in Hartford. Um, and we're really excited about that partnership um, and continuing to showcase the arts in Bloomfield from both people within and without of our community. It's a peace of mind that comes with having Car Shield, so you can worry less about auto repairs. Call or go online right now to get Car Shield for yourself. The right. representatives are available 24 hours a day. So <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, do we have any other comments? Thank you all for your, for your comments. Do we have any other comments? I just so, wanted to note one more thing too. Um, it's banned book week. And I was just thinking about censorship and how this policy um, and uh, how we operate um, can have a lot of say in our community about how uh, and what is uh, is shown in Bloomfield. And I, I just wanted to hope that our vision is very inclusive of the many different viewpoints, um, visually, artistically, um, across the board that uh, should be represented in Bloomfield and showcased. All right, I agree. Before we adjourn, um, can we add to, I'm trying to think for on, on the agenda for a standing agenda item to discuss, let's say in the last 10 minutes of each meeting to discuss future, the future agenda, the next agenda. Like for instance, in this particular meeting for the next agenda, I would like us to discuss breaking down the breaking down the policy review. Because only when, once we do that, then we can get into what does public art look like for the town of Bloomfield based on each individual's opinion here. So, Councillor Curtin, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure that you can add that item to this agenda now, but I believe you can definitely do it for future agendas, but you can just make that statement that people should be thinking about it. I'm not sure. Councillor Curtin? Yeah, that's that's accurate. At this point, it's just to, to add. I mean, you could discuss right now to add this for the, the future agenda. And yeah, and that will be that will be in line. OK. So let's add for future ag agendas to add a line item to set the future agendas. All right. So I guess that is it. And it is time now to adjourn this meeting. I guess we all get 10 minutes back to our day. Um, so being the new chair and being new to this in general, is there an official way that I need to adjourn this meeting? Yeah. Yes, I'll make a motion that the meeting be adjourned. Excellent. Thank you, Bob. Second. The second in the motion. Yeah. Meeting adjourned. Okay. Good job. Thank you all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all. Thanks, everyone. Good job. Um, Liz, can you stay on the line for a second? Who? Liz, you, Elizabeth. Yes, sorry. yes. All right, so. Hold on one second. I'm just going to finish, figure out how to stop. Go for it. Recording. I should have said it.